the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. And we'll pray. In intercession, we'll pray. As we help, God will grant us grace to be able to build not just a people who are prayerful, not just a people who are coming to church alone, but people who can translate spiritual laws into wisdom keys and principles that the nation can be blessed by. Don't just sit down expecting what will Nigeria give me and we are angry, insulting government. Now, I'm not justifying. We have our different kinds of leadership, but believing, sitting down and being entitled to just say people will come and change us and bless us is a dream that will never come to pass. But we must trust God for visionary people who can rise. That we should we will restore meritocracy back to our system that people who are deserving are truly honored in business in governance in career the education regardless of tribal affiliation and whatever kind of sentiment this is that if we fail in this then we have failed if we fail in this and we make a name we have still failed if we fail in this and buy houses, we have failed. If we fail in this and go around the nations, we have failed. But if you do not have any of these things I mentioned and you achieve this, you won. If Christ tarries, let us do our best to give the generations that are coming what we probably did not have the privilege to receive. Rather than complaining and insulting, the national anthem of this country says that the labor of our heroes past, it says that it shall never be in vain. Very powerful. O oh God of creation, direct our noble cause, guide our leaders right. Help our youth the truth to know. Listen. In love and honesty to grow. And live in just and true. The result? Great lofty heights attain. To build a nation where peace and justice. This is church. This is why we are here. If there was no cause, we will not be here. Why am I saying this? Because being part of the vision, you must connect with understanding. Not just sympathy and loyalty to a man because of what is trending. I assure you, the journey will not always be just smiling. There are times you will have to engage. It's a journey that will require courage. It's a journey that will require strength. People like new things. People like what trends. It's human. But we must sustain the stamina and the staying power to be focused, to be visionary. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our mandate in this city. There are 3.2 million people thereabout demographically speaking in this city if we cannot influence 300,000 people with this ideology we have failed 10% is the minimum standard of influence yes sir you cannot change a society if you do not influence that much people this is not about church this is not about membership 
this is about transferring an ideology that is superior to a people to correct their understanding correct their paradigm and produce results that glorify christ bless society and better the lives of people so there will be a combination of spirituality signs and wonders there will be dimensions that will come from the economy because you see the end time project kingdom come project can never be be fought just from the standpoint of the supernatural alone there are people who will come from an economic standpoint there are people who come from a governmental standpoint there are people who come from a career standpoint my charge to us therefore is that whilst i am honored honored beyond measure for your support your participation and for coming to open up your heart and be part of this vision i want you to know that more than a man first look up to jesus then focus on the vision then you may look at the man the man is only a privileged point man but the agenda is bigger than a man the assignment always is that we will decrease so that he will increase to decrease does not mean to be small to decrease means to give him space so that he will be seen are we together what then is your own role let me tell you what your role is in this vision number one your first role connecting to this vision is prayer prayer no matter how anointed god has helped us to be we need prayer prayer for strength prayer for stamina prayer for longevity prayer for health Number two, what is your role? Your participation and your connection to the vision. Genuine connection. Connection is a covenant. In the days that follow, we'll have the opportunity to teach on covenant. Covenant was a strategy that was designed to ensure consistency in man regardless of his emotional limitations covenant is an invention of the intelligence of god because men are emotional our faculties of perception according to god the highest faculty of perception should be discernment then reasoning based on laws then emotions if emotions have a toll on us the danger is that we will never have the same power to push visions to their fruition so we start so many things businesses ministries churches organizations and we're excited the euphoria of the new but a covenant consciousness is what gives you the staying power even when emotions fail man is an emotional being that's why anything that god intends to last he does not trust it until there is a covenant that binds it whether it is marriage whether it is service anything that has to do with kingdom advance relationships if there is no covenant that binds it you cannot secure god's attention because human beings are emotional this ministry the work of the ministry is by covenant not feelings you will wake up one day and it will look like someone sat on you but the covenant will drive past your emotions and your pain the king's business requires haste so your participation in this ministry should be based on covenant the revelation that there is an agenda bigger than the man the agenda is bigger than the man dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless Check our homepage for more of our messages, subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye!
pray 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 for your destiny salaska de bashkana kata branda kata kato kata branda kata bako tosko to pray kata 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 the phase of development lord grant me the discipline 